Hi everyone, it's Marissa. Today I'm gonna be trying out the new Kylie Jenner Blue Honey Palette. So I'm also gonna be trying out her four new velvet lipsticks that she came out with. So I'm super excited because this is my first Kylie Jenner palette. I've never tried a Kylie Jenner palette before. So um, I'm super excited to try it out. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the video. So it came obviously in her signature packaging for this cute little card with her eyes. And it says, I couldn't wait to share my new eyeshadows with you. I hope you adore them as much as I do. I love you. I forgot forgot my lighting, so it's a little weird. Anyway, but she wrote I-E-Y-E, -E, which is kind of cute. That's her packaging. Has the back as well. Again, I apologize for my lighting. It has like this weird glare. Typically when she comes out with new stuff, I'm always broke, to be honest, and I can never afford to buy anything. So when you open it up, it mimics the same thing um, on the outside. Um, I know she changes like the teardrops to match whatever theme she's going for um, with her palettes. And then the back just has all the names of everything. You open her up. Kylie, I already, I really do wish her palettes came with a mirror. I think it's so weird, especially for the price that we pay. I think it's weird that it doesn't come with a mirror. Um, but there are the beautiful colors. So pretty. So she released four of her velvet lipsticks. And I didn't even know this. I don't know if this is new or not, but the it's like felt or velvet, I guess, on on the um the packaging. Um so we I got all four of the new ones. So shook, vibe, heat, and mood. I've never tried any of her velvets before. I, I have a couple of her liquid lipsticks, um, but I've never tried her velvets, so I'm pretty excited to try these. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Heat, which is um, like this brick kind of orangey shade. So that's one layer. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with another layer, but I feel like, I mean, again, these are her velvets, I'm not sure, but with her liquid lipstick, like if you touch them up, it kind of becomes like, uncomfortable on your lips so I'm just gonna give it a go and see so this is heat so this is vibe which is definitely more of a orange mixed with like a brown so vibe food I can already tell it's gonna be like one of my like <laughs> go-to daily lips. This really reminds me of an Anastasia Beverly Hills shade that I wear almost every day. Um, but this, I can already tell, is gonna be like my like go-to for a while. But not least, we have Shook. I really like this color a lot. So like a brick red and it's so, like this really is a really pretty, pretty shade. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, those are all four of the in, of them. The only thing I will say is heat was a little patchy for some reason in comparison to the others um that's the only like each one i only had to do like one application but for some reason heat was really patchy on me so um that is my only call out so these shades honestly i don't have a lot of colors like this so I'm, that's one thing i'm really excited about is that i don't like a lot of palettes like you kind of like just buy them just to buy them just to have them you know but for this i'm actually going to get a lot of use out of these because i don't have a lot of these colors like at all just to give you the shade names raw buzz off sweet like honey bumble blue honey royal jelly busy bee sweet thing and honeymoon those are the shades and i've never had a kylie palette like i was saying before but the shadows seem really creamy just at first touch and pigmented. Let me try one more. Yeah, they seem like really pr pretty pigmented shadows, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna start off with um, Buzz Off. I'm gonna actually use this as a brow bone highlight. Ooh, that's really pretty. To start off like a transition shade, I'm gonna go in with Raw, 
gonna use raw as a transition shade. Name faded off, but this is a Sigma brush. Apologies, I don't know which one it is. That didn't really show up, so I'm going to dip in a little more and not dunk, dunk any off, dunk, not tap any excess off this time just because it didn't really show up like I wanted. Oh, there it goes. Really pretty, it's not patchy. It's blending very nicely, I will say. I'm going to do um, this shade here, put this into my crease. This is Honeymoon. A Morphe M505 brush. I do have kind of hooded eyelids so my skin my eyes fold there because you can already see on this eye like my um concealer creased up because of like the folds that like happen right there so I'm putting this into my crease and those folds if that makes sense and I like to tilt my head back like this if you're noticing that I'm doing that because it allows me to really get into that that skin that folds there Instead of if I do it that way, it would just get like right there. And then I'm going to go in one more time with um, Raw. The same brush I was using before. I'm just making sure that things blending seamlessly, which it appears to be. So this is Busy Bee. I'm going to just start packing that on the outer corner. I will say they're not like crazy pigmented. Like if you notice, I really had to like go in a couple times to get that outer corner. Um, but I mean, that kind of helps in your advantage. Like if you, especially if you're a beginner with eyeshadows, because sometimes if start eyeshadows are like way too pigmented, you kind of put too much on and then it's like hard to like fix what you did. And some of you probably know what I'm talking about. So it's the fact that they're not like as pigmented like immediately really helps you out with your blending and stuff because you don't want to mess up put too much I'm just gonna bring this in onto a little bit above my crease And then I'm going to go back in um, with Honeymoon. And just make sure. So now I'm going to go in with this pretty shade right here. This is Royal Jelly. I'm going to put that in the inner um, lid space. And the reason why I am bringing it up high is like I said, eyeshadow kind of gets lost in those little folds and so I like to just bring it up. I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, Busy Bee. Okay, well, I am going to apply eyeliner. I'm going to take, um, this is a, a Morphe G20. I'm going to take Busy Beam and I'm going to just um, pack this right along my lower lash line. I take Sweet Thing right here and I am just going to take, what is this? So it's Sigma E45. This technically is a, a tapered, I think this is more for like your crease, but whatever, we're just gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna put this right. I'm gonna take Buzz off. And this is a Morphe R41. I'm just going to pat, put that right in the inner corner highlight right here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and put on some fake lashes and then we'll go ahead and pick what lippy we're gonna put with this. So I'll be right back. There was like no fallout from these shadows, which is very interesting. Which is a good thing, because I really don't like fallout, but sometimes you can't help it. Um, but yeah, there was like none. So I did decide I was gonna go in with the color Shook as my lip color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that now. So that is the finished look. Thank you again for watching and tuning in. I will say my final verdict is beautiful palette. Overall, I think you can get a lot of, you can get dated everyday looks with this. You can get like really cool night out looks for the, with this. Um, I just think over, I think the colors together are just so pretty. I think she did a really good job selecting the colors to go with the palette. Um, and in terms of the lips, like I said before, the only one that was patchy was that first color I tried on. They're really, really pretty. So comfortable on the lips. I mean, I've only been wearing it for a little bit, but I really think these are gonna be really good. I think that I'm gonna, gonna kind of grab for these a lot more throughout the week. Thank you for so much for tuning in. Check out my Instagram, Curvy Girl Curly, if you wanna check out any of my other makeup looks. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.